All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Classroom of the Elite Season 2, Episode 13, the finale of the season. Yeah, I am uh, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we get a season three for this because I'm so happy, but obviously sad as well, that this season is ending now. Uh, even an announcement, it's not even an actual day, just something that says season three will come, you know, that'd be swell. Um, yeah, I really love this season. Uh, the progression through it has been awesome. Been some wild moments, and uh, I guess we'll see how the fi final episode is going to be. Last episode was insane. Aina Koji gave out all the hands. Love to see it, um, and I'm just really loving it. So, if you're new to the channel, guys, please hit that subscribe button. I want to thank you guys for watching the series along with me this season. Like this video, and let's go into this episode right now. Oh, are we getting a bit more into Ryun's past? Is he actually at the hospital? I mean, I'd imagine, I'd imagine he is, but... Or is he... This is an apartment? What is it? Bro, how are you not in a coma? Holy shit. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be better if you did. How many points does he have? Yeah, he just allowed that to happen. Lol. That one can still be useful. Is he referring to old Dragon Boy here? Few words and even less present. And yet... Now you've seen the other side to him. This girl's kind of been brainwashed, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> you just need someone to be there to help her. And now she's properly realized her feelings for him? Damn. Is she asking her for advice for a date with Aina Koji? Oh, she really needs to let this hear her shit go by now. So this girl's excuse for still wanting to date Anakoji is just because he ran fast at the sports festival. Just, just to get that straight. On Christmas? Yeah! She's pulling out all the stops. Oh, is this supposed to be more romantic on Christmas Eve? <laughs> yeah, she's never done any of this shit, really. A double date? Jeez. Probably. <laughs> Good point, actually. That's probably what he's doing. Oh, he's calling again. I thought he was asking that because he was going to come, come over or something. The way he has her wrapped right around his finger. <laughs> or he believes that she may be some kind of spy, possibly. I don't know. I'd honestly say it's the latter. Okay. Oh, now he's pushing her to do this after he made that deal with the president. Yeah, it's not something he'd lie about, really. This is his way of her getting her to join. I thought the point of this was to make her want to join without the brother, without her realizing that the brother had a say so in this. What was Aina Koji's role in that? I don't understand. Why can't the brother just come help, come up to her and say, you should join? What do you want? Fuck off. Oh, my sight. Aina Koji feels something caught in 4K. 
I'm surprised he didn't have PTSD after seeing him. <laughs> Damn. Well, he cares about his own group, even if he manipulated and scared most of them. So is he going to use him now? Brian Koji. So what is it with you and good for then? Oh yeah. A bitch. Bro, these two kind of working together is wild. Oh shit! Let's go! Finally. So we're gonna rise to class C. She's gonna do something or him make her do something that will get her expelled and they'll go back to class D. What happens to class C then? Does do they get them out into class D? Imagine in anime when that question gets asked, asked like, oh, have I, have I kept you longer? The guy just says, yeah, I've been here for ages. Freaking double date, man. Jesus, it's got to be so awkward for Kay. Class president is going in as well. He's a real bro. Bro has to fake having a girlfriend. He probably wouldn't even seen her on Christmas Day. Meaning his friends are like, oh, he's probably busy with his girlfriend, so don't even invite him out. Bruh. Even though it was her idea, yeah. Look at formal ass Ainokoji. Jumper and shirt. Reservation for four. Oh, do Impressive insight. <laughs> this girl, man. <laughs> I, just, I just went back to look and I could uh, I realized her pupil kind of looks like a little a little heart here on the on the right. You can't fucking see that because of my camera. Apologies. Um but yeah, uh, her pupil kind of looks like a heart there. That was interesting. I actually don't know what a lot of people in the class are or are actually into or have what prospects they have for the future. I think they're just trying to survive high school right now. I just realized they went they went to the cinema on a first date. That's a horrible place to go for a first date. Do we get to see this rejection in 4K? Let's go. Did you not really have any fun today? Bro, you like this man. You should know he doesn't smile. <laughs> oh! Yeah! That's fair. He definitely can't be. No. Oh! Yeah! Damn! This boy is ruthless! Jesus, Ayanokoji. You love to see it, but that was brutal. Well, he really cut the ties there, so... Okay. <laughs> so why did he go on a date with her? Just to give her some fun before he killed her? Like... <laughs> An unsuitable substitute for you? Mm, apparently not. Oh, did she get him something? That's cute. I wonder if he actually will ever feel anything for Kay. He got her a present? Wow. What is it? Cold medicine. <laughs> Bro, that feels like a joke present. Or like a horribly timed present. Bro, Kay got water tortured and she didn't catch a cold. The GO anime character, for real. 
Aina <laughs> Koji, my boy. Man is playing five five D chess, man. My goat manipulator, let's go. <laughs> I wonder if her thoughts would change if she could hear what he said in his mind. I, I don't think they what they would. I think she likes being anything for him. I don't know, bro. God, what a final episode. We got something at the end here. Who the hell is following Ainokoji? Is this his dad? Oh no. Wait, was she in that room too? Oh, his eyes. Third season, let's go! I actually just remembered someone mentioning, and I think the last comment section, that uh, the third season was announced at the same time as the second season. So again, disregard what I said at the start and a final part of the episode there. Um, yeah, third season, very hype. Uh, very interesting that she's come through here. Um, she clearly knows a lot about his past, so she has the potential to bury him, apparently, according to her. Um, but it, but knowing Ayana Koji, he's probably incorporated her in a plan in some in his plan in some way, shape, or form, which he just hasn't revealed to the audience yet, of course. But damn, what a final episode! Um, obviously, the last episode episode was more action packed, but in the final episode, I think of season one as well, Ayana Koji made this kind of big impact on the viewers as well, from what I can remember. Um, just as he did there, absolutely decimated uh, Sato. I mean, he he. He's not leading her on. He he showed her a fun time, and then at the end of the day, um, just said, "Hey, no, no feelings for you whatsoever. No affection. Killed her twice, actually, um, <laughs> in that conversation. But you know, uh, yeah, he was just trying to see how valuable of a pawn she would be. Obviously, she doesn't beat top pawn, okay? <laughs> and that was really sweet as well. The the moment between Kay and Aina Koji giving each other friends presents." Even though he then went on to say that he she is fully in in his control now, but what can you expect from this guy? Uh, maybe his feelings towards people will change in the future, or maybe they'll get him even worse. I don't know. But yeah, overall a very good season. Uh, definitely looking forward to the next whenever that comes out. I believe it's twenty twenty three actually. Um, so I'm excited for that. But yeah, anyway, guys, uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching along with me re this season. Really appreciate it, and I hope you will continue with me on in the next season. But yeah, anyway guys, uh, have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.